the quarantine if configured to do so. To find the quarantine in the Exchange app, we're going to talk about the quarantine feature in Exchange. We're going to talk about the quarantine feature in Exchange Online Protection. By default, content filtered spam messages are sent to recipients' junk email folders. However, admins can change this action so that spam messages are sent to the quarantine instead. This can be done via content filter policies. Messages that match a transport rule can also be sent to the quarantine, if configured to do so. To find the quarantine, in the Exchange Admin Center, select Protection on the left pane, and then choose Quarantine in the top menu. To find a quarantine message, simply select the Advanced Search option to bring up the search box, and then you can select which criteria to search for. For example, you can search for messages sent from a specific sender or sent to a specific recipient. For more information about each of these options, consult our TechNet documentation. If the search criteria you select matches any messages, they will appear in the box below. These messages are listed from newest to oldest in the received field. Sender, subject, and expires values are also listed for each message. You can sort on any of these fields by clicking their headers. A maximum of 500 messages can be displayed. If you don't see the message you're looking for, you should refine your search criteria. When you select a message, additional details appear in the right pane, such as whether the message is a spam message or a transport rule, and the size of the message. Select any messages that you want to release, and then choose Release Messages. Choose the first option to send the message to all recipients who have not yet received it, or to specific recipients. Choose the second option to release the message to all recipients who have not yet received it, and report it as a false positive to Microsoft. Note that false positive reports will not be processed by Microsoft if the message was quarantined because of an advanced spam filter option, or if it was quarantined due to a transport rule match. I just showed you the admin experience for finding, releasing, and reporting quarantine messages, but admins can also turn on end-user spam quarantine functionality via end-user spam notifications. These notification messages can be set to be sent anywhere from once a day to once every 15 days. The default is every three days. It works like this. If you specify end-user spam notifications to be sent every three days, the notification will include a list of all messages intended for that user within the past three days that were sent to the spam quarantine instead. Admins can also configure the language in which the notification is written. Each notification includes a list of that user's spam quarantine messages and links to release the message to their inbox or report it as a false positive to Microsoft.